Hey everyone, so a question that I've seen a lot and I've gotten a lot is how did Subaru come up with the name Linearetronic CVT? The answer to that question is actually very simple and makes a lot of sense once you know a little bit about how these CVTs work and what components are inside them. Behind me over here, you have an HT TR690 that came out of a Subaru Ascent. And on the bottom, you've got your valve bodies. Those of you who are familiar with the TR580 transmissions know that your valve bodies are on top. Now, the one thing that is the same about these are that they use variable force solenoids to control the clamping pressure for the chain, as well as which clutch packs are engaged or disengaged and how much pressure is on the clutch packs. In the case of the chain on this particular CVT, you're talking about them controlling over 150,000 PSI worth of pressure to keep that chain clamped. Now, how they came up with the name is actually very simple. Another name for variable force solenoids is linear solenoids. Now these linear solenoids that are here on the TR690s and up here on the TR580s are electronically controlled. So now you take the two of those, you make a portmanteau of the two of those, you have linear-tronic, linearly controlled electronic solenoids, linear-tronic. So there you go, folks. That is the mystery to the Linear Tronic name solved for all of you who are curious about the little details like that.